Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We have seismic activity to see today, the launch of three critical space missions to the L1 Lagrange point, an excellent study on solar impact on the heart, and of course, we're starting with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star, where things have not changed much. Flurry of sunspots not firing much in the way of solar flares, some sizable filaments on the north there too, but things have been quiet. We've got calm solar wind and not much on the way to Earth at this time. The sun is quiet at the moment, but we're still monitoring the sunspots. Not a ton of morphing or growth the last 24 hours. The spots have only moderate complexity, but so far are napping, satisfied to stay cool for now. But of course, we'll continue to monitor those active regions. Up next, flurry of earthquakes struck Venezuela yesterday. It's been 28 years since they've had a major earthquake, and this one didn't come close to that last one. No reports of casualties or significant damage as of this morning. Hopefully it stays that way. But so now we go to the launch of three major missions to the L1 Lagrange point, a million miles upstream in the solar wind towards the sun. IMAP is one of the three, and it'll be mapping and monitoring the heliosphere from the corona out to where the solar wind slows down and stops, we're about to get the most detailed view of the stellar neighborhood. Also heading up there is Geo Carruthers. This is the one that's going to monitor the plasma halo of Earth and see how space weather impacts the larger electrodynamic sphere of our world. Last but not least, the space weather follow-on mission, another coronagraph to complement the C-Core on GOES and the SOHO C2 and C3 cameras, and it also has a solar wind instrument for tracking CME events and offering forecasts of their power about an hour before they impact Earth. Last item in space today comes to James Webb. It has scoped Sagittarius B2, a major star-forming region in both near Cam here and Miri, caught the looks that Hubble isn't able to give us. The infrared spectrum ability of Webb keeps showing us familiar heavens in brand new perspectives. Last but not least in the science today, excellent study confirming dozens that came before. Solar storms cause extra stress on the heart. Those with pre-existing conditions are the most at risk for a fatal or hospitalizable event. This is the most studied and confirmed solar health connection, the direct line straight to the heart. Folks, Founders Weekend actually begins tomorrow. The main day is Saturday, but there are activities all weekend. Dr. Dunning and I are giving talks and doing a Q&A. Tons happening in October, too. Those first two weeks, strongly consider you find a way to get out here to us for those. November kicks off with self-defense training, and it's animal style. Observer speed dating the week after that, the last one we had resulted in three matches. Documentary premiere and pull shift conference middle of the month. The year is winding down. Come out and see us. We'd love to shake your hand. And it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.